Oshino Peak is back. The reason why everybody started watching this is finally back. And what was that? The murder mystery, the plot. Akane going Batman detective mode, figuring out everything, the points, the dots are connecting. And what does she come to? She's, I think, thinking that Aqua is the child of Hoshino Ai. She didn't really confirm to Aqua, obviously, because she wants to kind of be like, kind of keep it low. But I think that it is making sense in her mind. And quite possibly the most important frame last episode, Gotanda's laptop. You guys are so dumb that you think you're being smart, you think you're being discreet by trying to not spoil, but there's a thing called indirect spoilers. It's whenever you like either confirm or not confirm any of my theory, which then obviously decides that oh, it must be the other thing. The amount of pure retards trying to spoil this show in the comment section is, in is insane. But thank God I don't read that comment section. I just scan to see if there's a Moya Inuit and I placed it there. But that laptop, very interesting names in the folders. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction, though. Oh, Akane got the mom haircut. Is she cooking for Aqua right now? She, she, she's there. If this braid was coming over her shoulder, this is the soon-to-be dead mom. Sorry, it's the dead mom flashback haircut. Wow, look at that. That's right, because he lived with his mom. Gotanda lives with the mom. The mom is super based. お母さんと一緒にリオリ教室通ったりして。ああ。あ。子供扱いすんな。私も君を支えたい。あ。あ、かなデザーブスベターブロー。<laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it right now, bro. Aqua does not deserve this shit. I don't give a fuck about that cool scene last season. Him saving her on the bridge scene, bro. He treats her like trash, man. She deserves better. She needs an actual boyfriend that's not just doing it for business. But Akane has been such a... It's just a delight to watch. Kana Lolly Senpai. I don't really know what's going to happen. But goddamn, Akane can cook. Kana, can you? Then again, I don't think a girl should be reduced down to just like a maid behavior saying like, oh, you shouldn't let this one go just because she knows how to cook. It's a nice positive though. Hmm. Show that laptop again. Okay, the folders are still there. <laughs> That was uh, episode one stuff, I think. That's fucked up. <laughs> so like, he's fine when Akana can see, but Kana's like, no, do not let her see. Well, no. Take a step back and think about what that implies. It could. It could mean that she cares more about Kana's judgment. Therefore, she's more scared of seeing, showing Kana the real side. You know what I'm saying? Because he sees Kana as a higher being than Akane. Aqua is fine with, you know, showing it to Akane, but not Kana. You could think of it like that. Compared to I, he doesn't. That's what he believes, right? So. To find the person who killed my mom. But like, that's the funniest thing. That she is the one person that would actually understand and could help him. Oh, that pout. That pout. I'd come up with a plan to hide the body. Holy shit. Now I know he's just teasing, but like he's actually kind of opening up now. Okay, what would she say? I'm not here to make friends. So the black star, the dark star again. What? <laughs> Even Akuma was like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Dude, that shift in her eyes? Did you see that? The shift right here. From all bubbly oo 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 
to like Hollow Black. I'll help you kill him. It's just a joke, right? So like at this point in the game, Akane understands, right? She knows she has the theory. She's pretty much kind of believing that Aqua is the child of Hoshinoai and the whole murder. So even right now, when he asked her that hypothetical question, she still understands the context and she's saying, yes, I'm fucking in. Let's go. <laughs> even if you're a horrible guy? We got Joker and Harley Quinn now. <laughs> what the fuck? If you're gonna shoulder a crime, I wanna carry that burden with you is an insane line. Like, you barely know him. You've known each other for like a year or something. She's like, what, 16 years old? They're fucking in high school. They're like, yeah, I'll commit a fucking crime and ruin my entire life because that's how down bad I am for you. <laughs> Murder is... Oh. Oh, Himekawa-kana Himekawa or Aqua Akane? I don't know. They're glazing Himekawa like fucking Toto and Code Geass. Anytime someone shows up, something bad happened. It's like, if only Himekawa was here. If only Toto was here. He has that kind of glaze, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, whoa, stop, stop saying that, why are you saying this? Cause like, imagine she gets too close to the secret? Who's there? I can see it! If she actually gets too close to the fucking secret? Yo, our pop pop be like, oh, so you're my son's daughter, huh? Yoink! Oh, sorry, not daughter, son's, uh, my son's boyfriend, sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> Probably yes. <laughs> this is insane kind of flags they're putting out. They all made up now. Hmm. Do what the script told you to do. I don't know, I've read it. That's the action skill we talked about last episode, right? Melt! Melt? Yo, Melt! Melt Redemption Arc? I still believe in him. Because of how critical he is being to himself, because of how much he's been shit and getting shit on, he may have a moment that outshines Himikawa, bro. I could see it. Bench the ruby. Melt and ruby? Oh, so we're using her to get in here. Got it. <laughs> He's kind of trash. Damn, you see that? The grind. First one in, last one out. Melt is putting in the work. I am so down for Melt's redemption moments to pop off this arc. With Akane? With his boyfriend? Because relationship, what are they doing? What are they doing? Tell me. Describe it. She is so innocent. Ruby is just too innocent, huh? She just doesn't understand anything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> down there? More energetic down there? <laughs> Bro, the libido is unmatched. The early... The early hints at what's to come in the manga. 
And I still haven't been spoiled. I haven't. But I have heard of some things. And oh my god, if you're gonna look this down for your brother getting on some action with another girl, can you guys imagine what's gonna happen in like a couple seasons from now? Oh shit. <laughs> Is that the first time we saw Ruby Dark Star? I've never seen Ruby with this Dark Star in my life. I've never seen it. I've only seen this from Aqua whenever he has intense negative energy. I haven't seen Ruby ever been that angry before. But oh, goddamn, if it's for her brother, if it's for Alabama. Okay, the Dark Star has been awakened. Okay. What's she gonna do? Dude, if she goes into the bathroom and starts popping off, like, who did that bitch did she? Yeah, just like punching the fucking bathroom. Dude, she mad. Yo, something's about to get fucked up. Public property's about to get destroyed. So you wanna see what could that be? I don't know. Kimi, Dareka no demochi? Melt. Jai, Yakusa no ko? Kawaii mon ne. Oh, the rain. え、キャノファとか笑う。あそこ結構友達多いんだよね。先輩です。お嬢せっかくだし、今度みんなで遊ぼうよ。これ俺の。10:14。How many seconds did it take him to get her line? 24 seconds. 24 seconds. I've never seen someone move so fucking fast in my life. Holy shit. I don't feel good about this. No, I don't feel good about this. Something about the shading. I don't know. I don't know anything about this guy. He's one of the other characters, obviously, you know, doing the acting in the theater play. But right now, it's giving me bad vibes. To the Melt Redemption arc is insane. This is gonna be a generational run. <laughs> how the fuck did Melt become the guy that saves the girl from the creepy dude trying to get his line? <laughs> like, how the hell did this happen? <laughs> Wonder if that's a lie. Huh. It was a lie! Wow. <laughs> I'm a player. Okay, player. Who are you gonna get this season? <laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs
もちろん人間としても役者としても尊敬できて人格的に言うんだけど、no, you know. 女の連絡先をガツガツ聞いてくる 2.5 役者は大抵英語スマホ貸しなさいブロックしておくから Really? That's even funnier. <laughs> Bro got her number after getting rejected from a cut, sorry,、uh, from a, a, the other pink hair girl. <laughs> Looks at the line for Ruby. It's like, at least I got one. Blocked, can't even send messages. Might be even funnier. <laughs> That white hair girl again. Damn, the banter between them. Oh, a cat fight early on! <laughs> I kind of think second part of today's episode, right? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Fuck. But like, Kana seems to have the upper advantage. She's not really phased. She's not really bothered by this. In fact, if you're that mad at me, that means you're threatened by me. That means I'm doing something right. Oh! What is that? Credit a certain performer? <laughs> What receipts do you have? <laughs> She was your super idol and the kid. Oh, Kara is so peak. I wish one day I could be like Kara, bro. You know that Kara prepared this dude, dude. Like the tone of her voice while saying this shit. Ooh. A little, little sis, bro. I don't like you one bit. I'm sorry to one sided adoration. Ooh, I kind of looking pretty bad now, bro. We got the receipts and everything. Who's next? Himekawa-san! Himekawa-san! Why did Himeka? Oh, because they're together. Kana and Himeka, obviously, they're kind of working together right now. Himeka doesn't give a fuck. He's like, yep, I did it. What are you going to do about it, bitch? Yeah, a long time ago, she was like a hero. Yeah. <laughs> well. She's only doing this because you aggroed her first, you know? She was chilling in her own lane. Kana Aloki is popping off, right? She's got the idol YouTube shit too. She's in the theater shit too. Like, Kana is killing it compared to Akane, I guess. Things are pretty, looking pretty bad. Kana is taking so many dubs right now. It's looking really bad for, you know, Akane. Like, yeah, sure, Akane has some private moments with Aqua and they're getting like more, perhaps more、uh, intimate, but like, my god. Right now, between a 1v1, Kana on top. <laughs> Bell Pepper again. <laughs> Oh? You started it! Used to be worse. Oh, for sure. She was a very spoiled kid. She was a very spoiled kid back then, but she's changed for the better. But again, she was minding her business. Akane was kind of just glaring immediately. Take her side. Yeah, she was a bitch back then, yeah. Oh, what happened here? Hold up. Hold up. Baby Akane and Kana moment. This seems like an important flashback that we'll see later, maybe. What was that? It looks like Akane might have shown up to Kana and was like, You're my hero. Do you think I can be an actor like you? And Kana was like, Hmm, <laughs> trash. Who do you think you are? Based on the stare that Kana is giving and you know the reaction from Akane, it's looking like you're too late. Can't do this shit. Who do you think I am? No. 
う稽古が始まる行こう気分良かったわね見たあの顔本気で悔しそうだったわねこいつマジで悪いとなかったおお姫川なんでそんな黒川に突っかかるわけうまくビジネス上のねやったな<笑> Do you get it? Do you get it guys? まあ理由はいい別に共演するのは今回が初めてじゃな,い、yeah. past, なんでかやるたびに揉めてきたのよ役柄に対するアプローチもいい演技っていうものの考え方も違う、oh, 私が正しいあなたは違うそういう圧を感じるわけ万人って言われ続けて、uh-huh. 実際私にはとんと仕事が来なくなって黒川 Dude, the look from Kana's face. God, the look at those eyes, man. But I think at the end of the day, like, both sides are probably going to resolve this conflict by saying, I really respected you. No, I really respected you. No, I really respected you. No, I was only being mean because I felt threatened because how good you were. It should probably resolve like that by the end, right? It's a huge ego thing. You want to go kill her? <laughs> you have a fight scene together? <laughs> you serious? Do you actually have a fight scene against her where you win in the script so she has an excuse to just go fucking all out and destroy her? <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Oh! Which one? Which one? But Adim has what? Obsession. Oh. This time, Arima's gonna win. Himeka has utmost confidence. I mean, I'm gonna trust him. He knows what he's talking about, right? Damn! Man, the matchups right now, right? Himeka Kana. Aqua Akane, both sides just kind of practicing with these. These sword props are so much better than the fucking papers that they were using before. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who I want, to, which pair to do better between Aqua Akane, Himeko Akana. But Melt, bro? I want Mel to win. I want Mel to be the best. I want Mel to shine beyond the Hinekawa this arc, if that's possible. Bro, look at the obsession! Henshin on the transformations! Are we watching another theater? What, what's happening? Yes. Her and Goa made up last episode. Yep. Feels bad. That's an interesting thought. In just like the sight of an artist. What if I'm the only one in the world who finds my creation entertaining? Right? At the end of the day, this fulfillment of creating something has to do with like how you feel about it, but also it feels nice if you know the world accepts your product at the end of the day. Does it mean I don't know. Being proud of something that you created because you enjoyed it, but everyone hates it, does that mean that you're based? It's really context dependent, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wow. あれ、割とこの子青春全部漫画に費やして男子の免疫ないだけなんで気にせずグイグイでまあ最終的にこの舞台の成功は役者にかなのでいい舞台になると信じてますよ。Fingers <笑> crossed. Oh, season one people. <laughs> And company. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I forgot her name too. She was actually one of the main rival girls. And then company, the dudes. Yeah, I don't know anything about them. <laughs> oh, they're dating. Right, right, right. Oh, 
Lonely, jealous people. Jealous! Okay, it's a secret relationship. <laughs> Ruby's getting hit on a lot today, huh? Interesting. Okay, okay. Ruby and mom! I mean, it is from Hoshino Ai. She is still the most beautiful to me. I don't care. She is better than Hoshino Ai. I'm gonna die on that hill. This is the best girl in this show. So I guess like we're done with the training shit, huh? Like, this is the theater. We're actually watching the theater. People have bought the tickets. It's happening right now. And now we're going to see the actual play from the next episodes and onwards. Like, okay, I thought we were gonna... Actually, that is smart. And what episode is this on already? This is... We're on like episode four or five, right? How is the entire season gonna be the theater play? Now, how's it gonna work? Because we spent the first five episodes getting the theater done. Are we gonna have another? I don't think. Is there another arc? Now, the trailer didn't really explain anything. I don't know what's gonna happen afterwards, but okay. What's going on, bro? I mean, he gave him the training. The emotional acting training, right? Uh oh. Because <laughs> he's just thinking about his fucking mom when he's doing this right here. So Aqua is gonna literally be doing like method acting, as in like he's gonna relive the moments of his mom's death and envision that during this play. お前だって一発のヤクシャなんだから。勝つって天才だとかもち上げられた私と今まさに天使式はしちゃうのよね。こんなこと言うのもちょっと尺だけだのよ。ええ、いや、was because Kana went in with like a really nice way. He's like, you know what? It's been a while. I know we're rivals, but I'm kind of happy we're back. And Akana is like, I've been waiting this moment this entire time. And now, I'm going to kill you on stage. Okay. You're scaring me. Hi. 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 So bro is literally in like a schizo moment. He has primed his mentality to remember the events of episode 1. And now, being that emotionally unstable, can we harness that energy to do emotional acting? So this is the double-edged sword that he was talking about, the director. Actual schizo acting, yes. Let's go. Glasses guy, himself again. Oh, that again?! Nah, you do. Is this gonna turn into a dark star? I don't know. But the talent, I feel like he is so good. But again, he just keeps comparing it to Ocean Eye. Bro, this scene of like the red room and then flashing back the transition to this. This is actual fucking cinema. Dark star. Dark star. Oh! And that's today's episode of Oshinoko, and this has been back-to-back -back episodes of Hype Oshinoko, and I feel like this is still only set up. The true payoff episodes are gonna ha happen in like the next couple episodes, like we're actually gonna play the theater now. This episode was amazing. Nice to see, you know, the mom again, because obviously he lived with his mom, and it was a whole funny you know, uh, moment last season that him like still live with his mom. It's 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 wholesome. It's wholesome. Regarding the training they're doing, it's kind of fucked up because like Aqua has to delve into his inner past and thinking about and you know Hoshinoi's murder and relive that moment in in order to harness that like schizo mentally unstable energy. But again, right, the risks are high, but the rewards could be just as high too. 
Akane is scaring me today's episode, man. Akane is like straight up scaring me. She was down to kill. And I get it that she's trying to like help Aqua, but like how cold she was and just admitting like, yeah, I'll fucking kill. Even Aqua got cold shutters after this. He's like, what the fuck? I was just like asking as a joke to see if you would, but I, I didn't realize that you'd be down that hard. And then what might be even scarier than Akane is Ruby's response when she heard that Aqua is, you know, getting on with other girls. I would have never imagined Ruby to show this kind of face. It's not a face of disappointment or disgust. It's a face of absolute fucking wrath. She is pissed off. And you can kind of see what's going to happen in the future if we go the Alabama direction. Holy shit. They're setting up that incest plot already, right? You're seeing just a glimmer of it, how pissed off Ruby gets. Melt is a very interesting character because of how much everyone hated him in season one. But this is going to be a generational redemption. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but they introduced this character to kind of act as the antagonist and for us, the audience, to give a fuck about Melf and root for him. And I truly do wish that he's going to have a moment that exceeds Himekawa. And that's pretty much it. Akane versus Kana drama. You know, it looked like Kana was on top, but Kana's just having fun. Akane might actually kill. <laughs> I'm scared. Everything Akane is just saying at the end here, when Kana's like, yeah, you know what? We have our differences, but I respect you as a rival, and I'm happy we're together. And Akane is like, I'm gonna kill you, bitch, and that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.